Amalgam Comics and Coffee House in North Philadelphia is celebrating what they call geek culture. Founder Ariel Johnson is one of the first black female owners of a comic book shop on the East Coast. After studying accounting in college, she decided to channel her entrepreneurial spirit into building an inc inclusive space for geeks like her. Amalgam is a comic book store, coffee shop hybrid, but I like to call us a community geek space. My entry point to comics was uh, by way of Storm of the X-Men. I was introduced to her character when I was about 11 years old. I was born in the 80s, so uh, I grew up on He-Man, She-Ra, Thundercats, all that good stuff. But in those properties, there were no brown faces. And I saw this white-haired, white-eyed black woman flying around, throwing lightning bolt and creating tornadoes. And I was like, what is going on here? I was like, I don't know what this is, but I'll be there. We make a real concerted effort to stock titles that feature everyone. So anyone can come in and find a book with a character that they can identify with and see themselves on the shelf. We don't segregate the books, so it's not like this is the black stuff, and this is the Asian stuff, <laughs> and this is the gay stuff. It's like everything is in alphabetical order because it's the idea is like everybody can read everything. Uh, comics are, are fun, you know, but we again exist in the real world. And so I want Amalgam to be a space where it's like, yes, you can come and escape a little bit, but we're not blind to like the, the things that are happening in the world. So I like to open up the space to things that are more social justice minded. We've hosted census info sessions and voting registration, sock drives and book drives. Oh, well, thank you for coming in. <laughs> Have a good one. I live in the area that the store uh, resides in and I care about it. You know, so I feel like to, to be a business owner and be in a place and that's how you make your living, but then you don't actually care about it, that's problematic. And I think, you know, that can be an issue with capitalism as a whole, where it's a lot of exploitation, but not ever giving back and reinvesting. And so I think it's really important for me as a business owner to kind of put, you know, my money and my efforts where my mouth is. And it, 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 I feel like it's important to not just be a business owner, but also be a neighbor. I go to the grocery store and the folks that I'm in line with are the same people who come in to buy a book or buy a coffee from me. And I think that's a really beautiful thing.